In this problem, we're being told to solve the right triangle. When they say to solve a triangle, what they mean is to find the measures of all of the angles and all of the side lengths. So you can see here we're missing angle B um, and we're missing sides A and, sides, and side B. So angle B we need to find and we also need to find A and B. Well, the angle is not too tough to find. We already have two angles in this triangle, a 90 degree angle here, a 50 degree angle here. So 90 and 50 is 140. Subtract that from 180 and you get 40. So that is a 40 degree angle. The side lengths we are going to use trigonometry to find. So let's just take this 50 degree angle right here and do things from this perspective. I, I could choose a, a different angle, but I'm going to choose this one. And let's say we want to find side A. Well, side A is the opposite side to this angle of 50 degrees. And then I've got the hypotenuse already given to me here. So I can set up a, an equation using the sine function because the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And it would look like this. We'd say the sine of 50 degrees equals the opposite, that's A, over the hypotenuse which is 15. And then we would solve this for a. Uh, to do that, all we have to do is multiply both sides by 15. So a is just 15 times the sine of 50. I'm going to get out my calculator 50 and hit sine. And I get 0.766 something. And then I'm going to multiply that by 15. And I get 11 point. Well, if we round this to the nearest tenth, this would be 11.5. All right, let's work on B now. So B, in relation to this 50 degree angle, that's the adjacent side. It's, it's touching that one, but it's not the hypotenuse. So that's the adjacent side. And we have the hypotenuse. So that's cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. So we can set up an equation like this. The cosine of 50 degrees is the adjacent, and that's side B, over the hypotenuse which is 15. And this is going to be a calculation very similar to the last one. We just multiply both sides by 15 to solve for B. And now on my calculator, I'm punching in 50 and hitting cosine and then multiplying by 15. And I get rounding to the nearest tenth, 9.6. So that is how to use the trigonometric functions to solve a right triangle.